Eighth grade, unit one, lesson 16. Parallel lines and the angles in a triangle. Number one, for each triangle, find the measure of the missing angle. The missing angle in figure one is angle C. Angle A is 28 degrees, so 28 degrees plus angle B, or 128 degrees, plus the missing angle C will total 180 degrees. Or we can look at it this way, 180 degrees minus 28 degrees minus 128 degrees will equal the missing angle C. And 180 degrees minus 28 minus 128 equals 24. So the missing angle C has a measure of 24 degrees. The missing angle in figure two is angle D. Angle F is 38 degrees, angle E is 122 degrees, so 38 degrees plus 122 degrees plus angle D will equal 180 degrees. Or 180 degrees minus 38 degrees minus 122 degrees will equal angle D. The measure for angle D is 20 degrees. The missing angle for figure 3 is angle L. Angle J is 20 degrees, angle K is 72 degrees. So 20 plus 72 plus the unknown value for L would equal 180 degrees. 180 minus 20 minus 72 is 88. So the measure for angle L is 88 degrees. The missing measure for figure 4 is angle I. I'll leave this for you to finish. Press pause and finish it. The missing angle is 35 degrees. That wasn't too difficult. Number two, is there a triangle with two right angles? Explain your reasoning. No, all three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Two right angles already totals 180 degrees because each right angle is worth 90 degrees and there wouldn't be any angle left over for the third angle. It would be impossible. Number three, in this diagram lines AB and CD are parallel. Angle ABC measures 35 degrees and angle BAC measures 115 degrees. What is the measure of angle ACE? What is the measure of angle DCB? What is the measure of angle ACB? I'm going to go back to the diagram and figure out all the missing angles. Then I'll come back to A, B, and C. They told us that angle ABC had a measure of 35 degrees. So all the corresponding angles will also be 35 degrees. They told us that angle BAC had a measure of 115 degrees. So all the corresponding angles would be 115 degrees. Line ED forms an angle of 180 degrees. 180 minus 35 minus 115 equals 30. So the measure of this missing angle is 30 degrees. And its corresponding angle will also be 30 degrees. To find this missing angle, we can add 35 degrees plus 30 degrees and that would be 65 degrees. Its corresponding angles would also be 65 degrees. To find this missing angle, 180 degrees minus 35 degrees would give us the missing measure. The missing measure for the angle would be 145 degrees. Its corresponding angle would also be 145 degrees. It looks like we found all the missing angles, so let's go back and look at A, B, and C. This question can be translated to, what is the measure of angle ACE? Let's go back and look at ACE. Here's angle ACE, and 115 degrees is the measure for angle ACE. B. What is the measure of angle DCB? Well, we have to look for DCB. There's D, there's C, and there's B. So 35 degrees is the missing measure for angle DCB. C. What is the measure for angle ACB? There's A, there's C, 
and there's B. It looks like somehow I removed the missing measure. The missing measure would be right here, and I know its corresponding measure is 30 degrees, so its measure would be 30 degrees. So the measure of angle ACB is 30 degrees. Number four, the two figures are congruent. A, label the points A prime, B prime, and C prime that corresponds to A, B, and C in the figure on the right. Down on the bottom, we can see point A, and I've labeled its corresponding point A prime. And here we have point B, and I've labeled its corresponding point B prime. And here we have point C, and I've labeled its corresponding point C prime. B. If segment AB measures 2 centimeters, how long is segment A prime B prime? Explain. 2 centimeters, because the shapes are congruent and corresponding segments of congruent shapes are always congruent. C. The point D is shown in addition to A and C. How can you find the point D prime that corresponds to D? Explain your reasoning. Measure the distance from point D up to the end of the straight line. Place point D prime that same distance up from the start of the straight line. Here I've labeled the point for D prime. 